We certainly do. This is one of my favorite trees, and good luck to Byron. I'm confident he will be able to track something interesting down for all of you guys. Now, you can see some flowers dangling off a kind of a vine, you could say, and a large sausage-like fruit in your screen, and this is the sausage tree. Now, depending on where in Africa you are, the sausages tend to be different shapes. These are the longest, thinnest sausages I've ever seen on any sausage trees. In the Kruger Park, they are thicker and shorter, and other parts, they all kind of vary. A wonderful tree. It may have a leopard waiting in it, but what I'd like to do is take you closer to have a look at these beautiful red flowers. It appears that they haven't exactly opened up yet, but they will be opening as the sun becomes hotter. There's a lot of flowers that close in the late afternoon, not even the night, but while the sun's still up, they close and then reopen the next day. And this is certainly one of them. They attract a huge amount of insects and bugs. So I'm sure already they're gonna have a few visitors. And as the day becomes hotter, they will get more and more as they open. Now I wanna get us around onto the sunny side. There's no leopard in there. Hello, Lala. You would like to know if the sausages are edible? No, they are not for us, but they are for some animals. I haven't seen many animals eating on them. I've heard baboons do and elephants do, but I've hardly really seen it happen. Good. In... Shangan, the, there's a nice one here, Manu, a little bit closer, that's open, um, kind of on the closest part of the tree to us. Yeah, up, yeah nice, right there. So as I was saying, in Shangan, the local language where Byron is doing his business, this tree is called an Vovovo, and that's due from the noise of all the insects and bugs that are attracted to these flowers because it has a resonating from all the buzzing wings. I'm not actually sure what it's called in Kiswahili. There you can see a fly of sorts. Hello, Nikki, you'd like to know what the sausage tree flowers smell like. And as far as I can remember, they don't smell very nice. Not do that, that they smell very bad, but they don't have a hugely pungent smell. But what I'll do is I'm gonna go and pick one up. There's lots of them actually falling. I've seen two fall from the tree since we arrived here. So what I'm gonna do is go pick one up and give it a sniff and let you know exactly what it smells like. Right this second. Let's try and pick a freshish one. <clears throat> Ooh, it's heavy. It's a heavy flower. Switch off. Check that out. Weep. So they dangle like this, and this is quite appropriate for us. Spring day, the first spring day of the year. Now I'm going to go in for the little sniff test. Ah, oh, it kind of smells like a nectarine. Hmm, a diet nectarine. Not too much, maybe just 20% nectarine volume. <laughs> Mild nectarine -y. It could be the colors that it gives off that attracts the bugs, and I mean, this one has fallen down from the tree, so it is kind of past its sell-by dates. I'm guessing the ones up in the tree are going to smell far better, and by the time they drop down, it means they've already done their business, 
and that all of the pollinators, all the insects have already come and taken off all the sweet smelling pollen and dispersed that to the other flowers, thus germinating the seeds. Beautiful. Okay, well, we are going to...